Alright, so we're going to start today from a standing position, get your mat all nice and ready for you, clear a nice little space for yourself, and we're all going to meet in mountain pose at the front of your mat. So we're going to start in our mountain pose with our feet hip distance apart just to start, just so it's more comfortable than really squeezing those legs together. So see if you can find where your hips are, and send your feet down straight underneath. Really find your feet. You can close your eyes in this moment. And we're just going to find the sensation of feeling your feet connecting in with the ground, with the floor, pressing down, spreading out your toes. Breathing into this space. Become aware of your legs, drawing up your knees. Bringing your legs up strong, feeling the support there. Draw up your belly button. Not so that you're constricting your breathing, still breathing fully. But drawing your pelvis into line so your tailbone is shining down. Lifting up your spine but letting your shoulder blades come down. Relax your shoulders and your neck. Letting your head rise up high. So that you're strong, lifted, grounded down, rising up like a mountain. Take one more deep breath, if you haven't already, through your nose and out of your nose. Yeah, for people who haven't done that already, this little introduction, let's do it again. Inhale through your nose, feel the strength, the grounding, the rising. And exhale through your nose, let it all go. You've made it onto your mat, let's have a great flow. Really enjoy yourself. All right, so we're gonna start with a heart opener. Clasping your hands together, press your palms forward, round your upper back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release your hands, draw them down your back. Again, clasp your hands, press your palms forward. Still scooping in your belly button as you reach up. And exhale, draw it down one last time in your own breath. Press. Reach it up. And reach it down. Let's follow the arms down with the head tucking in to the chest, rolling down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine, bring your hands onto your shins. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back to high plank, lowering down your knees, drawing down your chest and your chin, keeping your belly off, elbows close. Inhale, belly to the ground, low cobra, reaching the chest through. Exhale, press it back into child's pose, sitting onto your heels, arms coming out forwards, really opening out your chest and your upper back. Breathing. Take one more deep breath. Really finding the pose in the exhale, letting go of all tension. And then rolling up into your hands, find your tabletop. Wrists stacked underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Knees hip distance apart if they're not already. Inhale, moving to cat cow, reaching your chest through, tailbone up. Open out your chest, draw your head away from your tailbone. Exhale, scoop up your belly button, curve up towards the sky. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curve, already pressing into your fingertips as well, finding the connection. Fingertips, palms, knees, shins, feet. Inhale, reach it forwards, keep it moving one last time. Exhale, curve it up. Good. All right, drawing into a neutral spine. So spine is straight, head's reaching away from your hips. Walk your fingertips facing outwards, press into your fingertips, start to make little circles of weight over those wrists, nothing painful, everything feeling good and releasing. As always, closing your eyes for whatever part of the practice you want to, to really tune in to how you're feeling and make sure it's feeling good for you. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, anything that doesn't feel good. All right, move the other way. 
and really taking this time for yourself. One last circle this way. And coming back to center, fingertips back facing forwards, walk them far out in front of you. Inhale, keep your knees reaching up through this top of the thigh, up straight towards your hips. And exhale, let your chest sink down into the space between your arms, drawing down towards the ground. Still reaching those fingers forwards, hips up towards the sky. Let's take a little spinal wave in this position. So scoop up your belly, ride the wave up through your spine, coming back weight over the hands. Exhale, release your hips back up towards the sky, sink back down. Take a few more of these. Inhaling as we roll forwards, exhaling as we sink down. Keep it moving, keep it rolling, releasing your shoulders. One last roll. Exhale, sink it down, walk your hands back up underneath you, come up straight. Okay, release your right leg out to the side. You can plant down onto your foot if your foot bends that way, no worry if it doesn't. Reaching your left hand up towards the sky and then plan it down and then we're going to reach the same arm as leg up towards the sky and then we're going to thread the needle this way so reaching this arm through the space between your left hand and knee drawing your shoulder blade towards the ground so we're getting a leg a thigh stretch as we open out the chest if you're comfortable here Supported on the shoulder blade on the ground, you can release your left hand and draw it around your back. Breathing deeply into your nose, breathing into your belly and your chest. Okay, unthread your needle, reach back up towards the sky. Plant the hand down, bring the outside leg in, repeat on the left leg, reaching it out, planting it down. Again, we're going to first of all reach up the right arm, just find a twist this way. And then we're going to plant that down, reach the same arm as leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the hand through the space, bringing the shoulder blade down, finding the twist, finding the comfort. And the length as well, the head reaching away from the hips. You can release the supine arm if it feels good for you. Breathing again, like I said before, into your belly and up into your chest. Finding the full release of tension. All right, let's bring that hand back down. Retwist up towards the sky, plant that hand down. Bring the leg back in and walk your arms forwards again into puppy pose. See if you can plan your elbows down. Bring your hands into prayer position above your head. So adjust to what feels good for you. And just take your puppy pose a little bit deeper if it feels good. Again, nothing that you don't want to do. And adjusting anything so it feels better for you. All right, planting the hands down. Stepping back into high plank. Really reaching the head away from the heels. Long line, lifting up the belly, drawing your chest straight. Good. And then we're rolling out onto the left hand and the left foot into side plank already. Again, you can bring your underneath knee down to find gate pose or stay up into this side plank reaching both arms away from you, drawing up your belly. One more breath. Plant down into your top foot, bring your underneath knee down into gate pose if you're not already there. And we're reaching this top right arm really far away. The opposite direction is what the foot is pulling in. So a long line reaching away, finding the side stretch. And taking this into a heart opener, you can lift up the leg, 
See if you can find the foot behind you, really pressing into this supporting hand. Drawing the foot towards your bum, or you can reach the foot away from you, trying to open out that chest. Okay, release that leg, reach it far away, keep it lifted, bring both hands down, turn towards the front of your mat. Walk this knee further forward to where your hands are, opening out the foot a little bit to the side once you've crossed it over, and then we're going to reach the back foot further back onto the ball of the foot, onto the toes, and you can stay here onto your hands, onto your fingertips, or you can come all the way up. Sitting up high, reaching up high with your arms, crossing them if it feels better for you. And high up onto that thigh, this strong pigeon. Alright, bring both hands down, plant to the back foot, step it back to plank. We'll repeat on the other side, so rolling out onto the right hand into side plank. Keep it breathing, enjoying your body. Enjoying finding out your strengths and even enjoying finding out your challenges. Alright, plant the top foot, release the underneath into gate pose. Kneeling down, reaching away with the foot and the hand. Long line, always reaching. Lifting up the leg. See if you can hold onto the foot. Drawing the heel to the bum, or reaching the foot away from you, opening up the chest. And then releasing the foot, reaching away from you, leg lifted, hand coming down, swizzling to the front of the mat, and drawing that knee further forward, crossing it over, letting the foot come out a little bit to the side, you see? Extending that back leg back, tucking the toes underneath and coming up if it feels good for you. Reaching up towards the sky, really tuning into the strength in the thigh and the lift in the belly button to draw the spine straight. Alright, plant the hands down, tuck the back toes and step it back to high plank. We're going to take a flow, so dropping down, elbows close. Inhale, upwards facing dog, reach up high. Exhale, press back, finding your downwards facing dog. Feet hip distance apart, trying to ground down those heels, extending the hips up towards the sky. Spine drawing long, belly button lifted, shoulder blades reaching out away from each other, planting into your fingertips. Breathing deeply. Take one more deep breath up through your heels, lengthening your spine. Exhaling, sinking down, feeling the pressure, the support in your hands and your feet. And then we're going to lift the left leg up towards the sky. Three legged dog. Open out your hips, bend your leg, find your open dog. And then hit your hips back parallel with the front of the mat, draw the knee in towards your chest, see if you can plant your foot as far forward as possible, turning the back heel down, finding your warrior one, everyone adjusting however feels good for you to come up to your warrior one, front knee bent, back knee long, reaching up with your arms, and then opening your hips out towards the long edge of your mat, warrior two. Keep on lifting up this belly button, drawing your spine along to find the support in the back. Okay, reverse warrior, sliding your arm down your back, lengthen the leg, reaching up towards the sky, reaching over. Breathing deeply. Extended side angle, hinge the opposite way, so this forearm to the front bent thigh, or hand to the floor beside the foot reaching up and over with that opposite arm. Come on back to warrior two, 
arms reaching long, body up, extend both legs. So you can shuffle in the legs so they're a little bit closer together for more stability as we move to triangle pose. Reaching up, arms wide, inhale. Exhale, falling over the front leg, reaching for the shin, the ankle, hooking that big toe with the first two piece fingers, reaching up towards the sky. Or you can leave your hand on your hip, opening out this heart centre, the focus of the class. Let's come back on up, extending that arm that was up, down your length and back leg, reaching up and over the opposite way just a little bit and then coming on straight. So turn towards the front of your mat, hips facing the front of your mat, walk the back foot a little bit wider to the side, left hand onto the hip, reach it up, inhale, exhale, fold it forwards and then bring the hand to outside the front leg shin, ankle, or to the floor, this revolve triangle, twisting the other way. Again, trying to adjust so that your arm feels straight, comfortable underneath you. Bring the up hand to your hip just for a little support. You don't have to, it's just what I like to do. Bending the front leg, see if you can step the back foot far behind you. Don't leave the hand on the ground for too long. We're going to reach the hand on the hip towards the back leg, Twisted Warrior. Good, come up straight. Hinge forward, lightning bolt one time, reach it forwards, and then step your legs up long a little bit closer. So we're moving into Parasvatanasana. So what you want to do is either clasp opposite elbow, bring your prayer together upside down at your back, or at the top of your back, facing upwards. So you're in this pyramid pose, feet as they were in a revolved triangle hip distance apart, inhale, lift open your chest, exhale, fold forward from your heart centre, keeping your spine long, coming as low as feels good for you, keeping lifting those kneecaps to not sink into those knees, or even bending them a little bit, but maybe try and focus on opening out the chest more than coming down low, so maybe you don't need to bend those knees. Okay, release your hands, bring them to either side of the foot into pyramid pose, drawing down close to your leg. And then let's plant into those hands, see if you can step the front foot to join the back and walk them wide, wider than your mat. Toes facing in, sitting back into your heels into a wide leg down dog. Really letting that chest sink through the space of your shoulders. Okay, plant your hands back down firm, walk back into down dog, and we're gonna repeat all that on the other side, but let's take a little flow through first, rolling forward, tie plank, dropping down, chaturanga, inhale, upwards facing dog, exhale, downwards facing dog. So releasing the opposite leg, the right leg for me, bending the knee, opening out the hips into an open leg dog, maybe looking underneath your arm a little bit, Twisting and opening. And making your hips back straight, drawing your knee through towards your chest, reaching that foot far forward, back heel down, lifting up warrior one. And let's open on out into warrior two, hips open, arms long. Reverse warrior, arm reaching down the back, lengthen the leg, reaching up and over. And then drawing forward, extended side angle, forearm to the thigh, hand to the ground, reach up and over the other way. Long line, deep breaths. 
Maybe you're a little bit more open on this side now we've done the work on the other. Alright, reach it up, warrior two, lengthen both legs, walk them a little bit closer, triangle pose, inhale, exhale, fold on to the shin, the ankle, hooking the big toe, reaching up or opening out the chest with the hand on the hip, whichever feels good. Let's come back on up. Let's reverse the triangle, reaching back the other way a little bit, up and over. And then moving to the hips, a square to the front of the mat, walking the back left foot this time, a little bit wider, hip distance apart, like your feet are on train tracks with the hips. Right hand on the hip, reaching up with the left, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold it forward, cross it over, arm coming to the outside of the leg, the ankle to the ground, reaching up and twisting. Good, okay, maybe bringing that top hand to the hip again, just a little bit more support. Bending into the front leg, stepping the back foot back, and then reaching back with the hand that was on the hip to Twisted Warrior. So twisting around towards the side of the front bent leg, reaching back, then reaching up. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> All right, hips coming back straight, walking the back foot in, moving into Parsvatanasana, both legs long, so either holding opposite elbow, that prayer position at the base of your spine or facing upwards at the top of your spine. Inhale, open out your chest, draw your shoulder blades together, knees already coming up strong and long. And let's open it forwards, folding over. And again, not worrying at all. What it's not about is how low you're coming. What it's about is if you can feel the stretch, if you can feel the openness in your back. And if you can keep your heart centre open and reaching forwards, so your chest is open. Alright, hands coming down, fold all the way over pyramid pose, you can curve your back a little bit. Give you a break here. <laughs> Do what feels good. And plant into the hands, see if you can bring the front leg back towards the back one. Feet wide, wide leg down dog, toes turning in towards each other a little bit. Okay, so from your wide leg down dog, I want you to walk your hands back towards your feet. Maybe walk your feet a little bit wider into a wide leg forwards fold. What I want you to do is clasp your hands behind your back, draw your shoulder blades together, release your arms above your head, drawing towards the ground. You can bend your knees a little bit, or if you want to keep on, on the, a bit of strength work, you obviously don't have to, so if it feels good for you, keep drawing the knees up if it's that case that you want. Alright, roll on up to standing really slowly, really calmly, taking a breath. And then walking your legs together to the front of the mat, finding your mountain pose, and still clasping your hands, opening out your chest. Drawing it open. Good. Okay, release your hands and then bring your hands instead towards your lower back. Fingers facing down your back or to the side. And then opening out your chest into this small little standing camel pose. Okay, curling up straight. Let's find a little balance. So, tree pose. Uh, whichever leg feels good for you, really grounding down into that one foot, drawing the other foot to the ankle, to the calf, to the top of the thigh, I'll show you this way, into tree pose, hands coming to prayer position at heart centre, really settling into your balance and into your breath, not worried about where you wobble. Every time that you maybe feel a little fight going on inside you, let it go. Breathe and sink down into the feeling. 
and let it be. Let what's happening just now be. Don't judge it. No one's judging you. Reaching your hands up towards the sky and bringing them back down. Okay, try and stay in this balance. We're going to move the knee into the centre. Reach the foot back. See if you can reach for the foot. If you can't, it's strong work on the hamstring to keep the foot lifted. If you're holding onto the foot, reach it forwards into dancer pose, opening out your chest. Keep on lifting the foot, the hand towards the sky. One more deep breath. Exhale, draw the knee through. We're going to counter that with a four angle pose. So cross the leg over, either at your shin or above the knee. And then we're going to bring the hands into heart centre, bending the supine leg, sitting into the heel, reaching forwards. A little stretch for the glute too, eh? It's great to stretch the glute when you're working on back work because it's all really closely connected. All stretches out each other. Alright, let's reach on up, stand on up, plant the foot down at last, we did it, repeat on the other side though. Okay, so other foot up into tree pose, whatever feels good for you, either on the ground, the calf or at the top of the thigh. Settling back into that breath. And the idea of non-judgment. We're not trying to excel at yoga. It's only here to help us come back and feel our bodies. There's no requirement to be anything. Okay, reach the hands up. And bring them back down, knee to centre, reach it back into dancer pose. Or just reaching the leg up. Breathing still, one last breath, and then draw the knee forward, cross the leg over the other leg, into four angle pose, sit on back, sit down with your body. One more deep breath, and stand it up, plant it down. Let's move to the ground. So reach it up, fold it over. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, open out your chest. Plant your hands down, step it back, high plank. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. And now either you can come down onto your belly and sit up onto your forearms into sphinx pose. So it would be like this reaching your chest through or we're going to roll into cobra so roll forward into plank then let your hips come down maybe keep them off and really open your chest and then we're going to reach it back to down dog so we're going to take two more of these roll it forwards sink it down cobra reach it up high reach it back one last time roll it forwards Reach your hips down. Let your hips come all the way down. I'm going to roll all the way to the floor. So adding in a little bit of strength work. Bring your hands underneath your forehead. Laying flat onto the floor. Lift your head and your arms off. Now take all of your upper body to one side. Through centre to the other side. Through back centre, if you've got room, uh, don't reach out in front of you. Oh look, just a little bit of room. Reach your hands behind you. And then sit back down, hands underneath your head. And repeat on the other side, reach it up. To the other side. To the other side. Reach it forwards. Reach your arms back. Come on down, two more. Reach it up to the side, keep drawing your shoulder blades down your back towards your feet, you go to the other side, arms forwards, reach it back, come on down, one last time, reach it up, head reaching away from your feet even as you twist, and twist, reach it forwards, reach it back, and 
lower down with your arms behind you. Clasp your hands at your bum. First two fingers pointed. Lifting everything off your finger. The pointed fingers reaching towards your feet. Legs off, body off, reaching up. Breathing. Feel your belly still moving. Okay, lower it down. Bring both heels towards your bum. See if you can reach like your own dancer for your feet. If not, again, strong work on the hamstrings to draw your feet towards you. We're moving up into bow pose, so reaching your feet up to bring your chest open. Breathing. And let's lower it down. Plant your hands down, sit back onto your heels, arms coming along in front of you, child's pose. Those deep breaths in the nose, opening out your belly, your chest and your back, all in turn. And then let's sound up into a kneeling position. So we're going to do a camel like we were earlier when we were standing. But here we're going to be kneeling. So kneel up, hip distance apart with those knees. Hands coming to lower back. Instead of just reaching back with this lower back, I want you to still draw up your belly button and just open up your chest and fall here first, reaching back. If you're comfortable here, try and reach back for your heels. And instead of just sitting down into your hands, reach up towards the sky with your heart center. One more deep breath. Scoop your chin up, sit on up straight, follow your head down into a child's pose but with your arms behind you. Good. All right, sitting on up again, onto those heels. So we're going to move into a little crow practice. So there's different stages to that. If you've done it already, feel free to hop on in. What we're going to do is come on up onto your feet, walk your feet a little bit further apart, heels facing out, sitting on down into Malasana squat pose. So sitting down as low as you can. And you can stay here. This is step one if you're comfortable here. If this is a lot of challenge for you, well done for finding that moment, that edge of challenge. You've done it for yourself today, so just work on this. If you feel today that you want to go a little bit further, what you're going to do is come onto your hands like this. Bring your knees onto your upper arm, either on the outside of those upper arms, or high up towards your armpits, straight onto the arms, rolling forwards, the weight into the hands and just playing around with lifting one foot off at a time, eventually coming into a full arm balance, drawing the toes towards each other and lifting up your belly button. When you go one way, trying to counter it with the strength in your hands, pressing into your fingertips. Feel free to pause and play this out a little bit longer or come on down and we'll move into the next bit. So I want to try a little side crow today. A little twist is great to open the back as well, open the heart center. So bring your hands into the same position and what you do is take your feet to one side, bending down. And you can, first step is to bring the arm where the legs are pointing, the elbow in towards this crease where your knee is. The other elbow would come onto your hip that for the first stage. If you want to go a little bit further, keep the arm that would be for the hip free and nothing to do with your body. But that's a little bit more arm work on the one arm. So what you do is you reach on over this elbow into the knee crease and see if you can reach your feet off. Drawing them towards the sky, keeping them together. Feel free to pause again and have a play around with that or move to the other side. So feet coming close together, bending your arms, the same elbow as the knees in that knee crease, the other arm onto your hip, 
for beginners, for starters, if that's what you're just learning now, working on the strength, or keep this other arm free and just roll another onto the one hand. Lifting the feet up towards the sky. Alright, let's move on out. So let's cross the legs or just sit on down in a squat pose, sitting all the way down. Shake out your head a little bit, shake out your upper back. Release any tension that you've gained from any thoughts and trying out new things. What we're going to do, legs long, toes coming towards us, forwards fold, so reach up high, inhale. Exhale, fold it forwards, lengthening over those legs. Breathing, releasing, sinking down the breath from that new thing that you might have tried today, the new challenge that you met with. And then we're going to come up, reach up high with your arms. Reach your arms back, one feet, two feet behind you, either bringing your feet in close to your sit bones or reaching your feet long, reverse plank or reverse tabletop, reaching your hips up towards the sky, opening up your chest. Taking a few breaths, if your legs are long, drawing your toes down towards the mat. Neck in line with the spine, not letting it fall back. Alright, sit on down. Sit up straight, draw your right foot in towards your sit bones, let it open out to the side, foot planted on this inner thigh. And straight away we're going to twist on around, so left hand coming towards right knee, reaching back with the left hand, and plant down into that left hand, plant down into this right knee and the left heel, and we're going to reach on up, opening out the chest into this small wild thing. Really feeling the freedom and the release in your upper back. And let's sit on down, repeating on the other side. So right knee in, lengthen it out. Left knee in, open it out. Left hand, so same hand as knee. I'm not sure I said that on the other side, but that's the truth. So reaching back the left arm, reaching up the right, opening out, lifting your hips up high. rolling back down. Both knees coming in. We're rolling all the way down onto our backs. So move to the end of the practice. Pressing into the feet, hands coming beside you like brakes. Lifting up the hips. Hip distance apart with the knees into this bridge pose. Maybe you want to release your hair if it's in a bobble near your lower head, your neck. Clasping the hands underneath your back if it feels better. Keep on drawing your belly button long. Alright, hands unclasping, rolling down one vertebrae at a time, top to bottom. And then you can repeat this bridge pose, or if you want to try a wheel pose, we're going to do that now. So hands come up, flex them, and then draw them underneath your shoulders. So fingertips are facing towards your feet, bring your feet as close to your sit bones as you can, press into your feet, into your hands, and like you would have done when you were little at school, reaching up your hips and your back into this wheel. Walking your feet as close to you as feels good, reaching up, lengthening your arms. Breathing. When you're ready to come down, tuck your chin and roll all the way down. Okay, let's all do that if you haven't already. Rolling down by bending your arms and shuffling out. Really good. Okay, lengthen your hips, your legs up towards the sky. Cross the right leg over the left thigh, bending both knees. Arms coming into a long T-shape beside you. Let your legs fall towards the left side, looking over the right shoulder for this cross leg twist. Breathing deeply. And 
maybe you want to close your eyes if it feels comfortable for you. Just addressing, enjoying how your body feels. And letting your body know that it's been heard, that it's had its time to speak. And that you're always going to listen to it all through your day. Okay, coming back through your centre, uncross your legs, cross onto the other side, left over right, bending the knees, releasing to the right side. Back to centre, uncross your legs, keep both knees bent as you reach for the outsides of your legs, your feet, your big toes with the first two fingers, drawing your knees down to the space, the ground beside you into happy baby pose. Feet flex towards the sky. Taking those deep breaths, slowing down your breath. Deepening your breath as you take it into the full space of your belly, and your chest. And a deep exhale as you relax and release everything while you stay in Happy Baby. Our last pose of the day. Okay, release your feet, maybe lift them to the sky one more time, give them a little shake. And then we're releasing the legs long into Shavasana, heels towards the edge of your mat, palms facing up, space away from your body, neck long, maybe you want to release your hair. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, let it go, you've done it. You've made it onto your mat and you've worked on yourself, on knowing yourself. And whatever part you've done today, be thankful, be proud of yourself. It's brave work coming onto the mat and spending time with just yourself. And letting yourself be as you are. It's really brave. And it's so important. So breathe and release. Let your body take in all that it's learnt. Feel all your pride and all that you are with acceptance, with an open heart, knowing you are worth so much and you bring so much value to the world around you, knowing you have this strength, this power this acceptance and understanding inside you. And this great heart, this full and open heart. To feel the flow of love that life is. So feel free to pause and continue your Shavasana for up to 15 minutes or longer. Breathing, accepting, releasing, acknowledging what is and letting it be. Letting go of any tension or stress at not accepting 
and letting go of any judgment. Or take one more deep breath. Let it go. Rolling over onto the right side of your body. Sitting on up. Coming into a cross-legged position. Bringing your hands onto your heart. One time. Feeling your sit bones on the ground. Your head in the space. The freedom of movement in your joints. The space to breathe in your belly, in your chest, in your back. And feeling this loving acceptance for all that you are. Maybe you can only reach a tiny bit of that today. Maybe you're reaching it through the pride of what you've done, through the feeling of freedom in your body. But know that there is so much of it, so much of that power and love and acceptance all ready for you at any time that you deserve and that others around you deserve. So thank you for joining this heart opening practice today. Hope that you gain something, hope that you're feeling a bit looser. Bring your hands into heart centre. Bowing down to yourself, to the people around you, to the love inside you. Namaste.